Okay, so we continue with part three now of the of our dinosaur mesh here. So we continue to model the we can continue to to shape the neck now. So I'm going to insert edge loop and insert one here so that we can start to shape the neck. Let's select these two faces here and drag that up so that we can get that shape of the neck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert an edge loop by pressing G. So insert another edge loop there. Again, I pressed G. And continue to shape. Another way of doing this is instead of moving that face, those faces up and inserting that edge loop, you could have selected those faces and extrude, and you could have extruded them and press G here and insert another edge loop. I think that doing it this way is up. It's not a problem at all. It, it, you get the same results in the end, anyways. We go to the side view here, I mean perspective view here. So I want this edge loop to be straight, but if I press R to, to scale and then come to the scale options box here. So if I select normals, normally that gives me a good result, but in this case, it's not giving me what I want. So to make this edge loop straight, what I'm going to do is select a custom axis and I'm going to select on edge. And so I click on this edge. Now I grab the, I select the, this handle here to scale that and see how that makes that edge loop straight. We can do that with this one as well. Okay. Now make sure to go back to world. Now we continue to shape. And we scale that. I'm going to rotate this. Maybe scale that. And move it this way, perhaps. I'm going to press G to insert an edge loop. Actually, let's go to edit mesh, insert edge loop. Scale that in and grab it. Let's rotate this. I know it might be slightly boring to just watch me shape and insert an edge loop here. Just watching me shape the, the model here, but uh, sometimes it helps just to see how someone else does it. And of course, there isn't one absolute way of doing this. So now we got the neck going. And we can start some more shaping in this area here before we get too crazy up there with the head. 
Let's get more shape in here with the body. Going to insert an edge loop, pressing G, or just by going to insert edge loop tool. Now I'm going to the side view, making sure that I'm getting the shape the way I want it. Grabbing those faces. basically the same process that we did with the with the neck G to insert an edge loop. Scale that in. Okay. What I'm doing is moving these faces so that I get that shape of the, of the tail the way I want it. In this case, I want it to look more in like the, the image that we got here. I'm going to insert an edge loop, G. Or again, you can just go to the edit mesh, insert edge loop 2. Okay, now we got the, the basic blocking for the tail there. And we can start to do more can develop the shape, continue to develop it by by shaping here, moving some edges. We're slowly but surely getting the, the shape that, that we're looking for here. This is all about patience. You need you need patience to to get to that point. And it's, let me check the pictures here so that we it's a good idea to have these pictures available to you so that you can keep looking at them and uh, just to make sure that you the models ma matches the the images. Of course, this, these are not all the same images, but but they give you an idea of where 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 we're going with this. So I keep going back to those images going back and forth between the images and the model even though I already have one image that I'm using here in Maya still helps having all those images let's go to mesh scope geometry tool now the radius is really tiny so let's click here with scope geometry tool options. Now I'm going to make sure that here I'm going to choose the the relax tool and to change the radius now just adjust the slider the slider here. What it does is it relaxes the, the geometry here. This is actually super helpful when it comes to, say you have something that's really lumpy, it makes it slightly rounder and uh, it relaxes the geometry here. Just to relax those hard edges that sometimes you get. Again, I'm using the Sculpt Geometry tool and I'm using the Relax You can press Q to to exit. And actually, you can press Q for any other tool. Whenever you want to drop a tool, just press Q. That way, you're not using that tool anymore. So as we can see, we we have the 
we have a basic shape of the of the dinosaur here uh, starting to come along now if we look at our pictures making sure that that we have the anatomy and that it gives us the an idea of how what to look for and how things should, should look like let me select this face here scale that So I, I think we're going, to, we're going to do some slight shaping here and just to get the, the, the shape of the, the model. So I'm probably going to stop now we're going to stop here for now and in the next video we're going to continue to probably develop the the head so before we go one thing we're going to do is we're going to delete our history our history over here and to do that we go to edit delete by type history just so that it doesn't slow maya okay so next time we're going to continue in the modeling process in the meantime, I recommend that you continue to shape it to, to your liking.